is Dak Prescott six total yeah. touchdowns, five incompletions. Jason, is it fool's gold? I'm I'm generally one uh, to pump the brakes on anything that happens between oh I don't know OTAs in May between May and July through August I I, I generally am a bit of a skeptic and I'm not going to crown this kid yet but I am going to say what I tweeted the other day which is this kid will be sort of a national story coming out of this entire preseason you know you think Tony Romo plays I don't know maybe a half of week three but of the preseason, and then there'll be plenty more for Prescott in week four. I just wonder if at a certain point they put him under bubble wrap as well, because clearly he is the number two there. They believe, and I believe, he can be and maybe already is better than a lot of sort of the veterans you're going to find on the street. And would I rather have Dak Prescott right now going into his third preseason game or Nick Foles going into his fourth organization or whatever it is, uh, at least third, right? I, I, give me, give me some of Prescott. Uh, there's a lot to see there. Um, there's a lot of people excited, and we know that Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones sometimes can get a little overexcited and lose perspective. But I was at the game in L.A. the first game he played, and just watching from that press box, there were ball. You, you would see the ball come out of his hand. You would see the the, the, the touchdown pass to Williams down the sideline before that ball hit its, its arc and started sort of coming down on the other end of the parabola. You could already tell, like, that's a perfect throw four yards into the end zone. Like, that's, that's a touchdown if this guy holds on to the ball. I mean, these were not sort of fluky plays. And, yeah, Dez is going to make plays for you if you're willing, especially in the situation he's in, to put it where you need to put it to let that guy go up and battle. And a lot of young quarterbacks won't do that. They're afraid to throw that interception there. Um, this kid's an athlete. He's got some Russell Wilson in him. He's got a little Aaron Rodgers in him. Maybe he turns out to be uh, uh, just a guy. But there is a lot of clay to mold there. And if he can stay on the straight and narrow and avoid some of the, the pitfalls of college life um, and, and some of his off-field issues from uh, that period of his life, there's a lot of upside there, man. That, that, that kid, he's, there's a little something there. You had me at parabola. Um, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I like that. That's why I'm here. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.